Hello guys, so today we are going to learn about some binary search tree. A binary search tree is we have a node that has two children nodes. So it has a left and a right node. If it's three nodes, then it's not a binary search tree. It's like a, a general tree or something like that. But um, yeah, we're going to need to learn how to make a binary search tree in Roblox. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. It's kind of weird because I don't really know how to implement it like the correct way but I have implemented it so that we have a tree that is fully formed like this and we can just give in these numbers into our tree and this is how we make the binary tree. So I wanted to do this so I can like solve like lead code questions for you guys using binary trees. What we have is we start with a node class so a node class is just going to have a value. If we make a node, it's just going to look like this. So this right here is a singular node. When we make the tree class, we're going to have a left root and a right root. I mean, a left node and a right node. And this is like starting our binary tree. So we, this is our binary tree class. Right here is going to just be a node class. And we're going to use the node class to be a component in the binary tree. I use this node class also in our linked list class. I updated our linked list class. So um, our node in our linked list has just a next value. And in our binary tree, we have this horrible thing. So um, what I do is we first have to check. So to make a binary tree, we need to do this constructor thing in Roblox. In this constructor, we can pass it default values, but Right now, we don't have any default values if we make the new class. In our new constructor, we just pass in a table of nodes. And in this table of nodes, what it's going to do is it's going to check if the nodes is empty. Let's say we're like making a binary tree, right? And then we're like passing in values in here. So like one, two, three. And these values need to be unique numbers. I'm, I don't make a binary tree with values like one, one, and two because my code will just break to be completely honest with you guys it's gonna break if there's duplicate values so make sure when you're making this make sure that you're solving this problem with you know all values are unique we don't want to have six one one that would be absolutely horrendous for our code so the general basis of what i do to add nodes is we're going to have a root left and right each values in this um, array list right we have root left and right so you might be thinking okay how do we get the value how do we get roots first value like left value and third second value right the left and right value so what i do is i actually use something called i times 2 to get my first node and then i times 2 plus 1 so if i do let's say we're like over here to get this guy's um left and right values right it's gonna be like 4 and 5 so when i do something like uh, this is the second position so when i do 2 times 2 it's gonna give give us 4 and then when I do two times two plus one, it's going to give us five. So I can do that for like every every single node value, right? That's how I select its first value and second value. That's why when I do numbers, i times two goes into the left. i times two plus one goes into the right. You can do that for like every value as well. So if you want to get one's value, you do one times two and then one times two plus one. And then you can see that this is gonna be two and this is gonna be three. And then two is gonna be four and it's gonna be five. And then three, it's gonna be six and seven. Because you guys see like times two right here, just a multiple of two here. That's that's like how it, it like goes and stuff. Hopefully you guys understand this part of the code now. And then what we do is we just use our add function. So this add um, function adds the node or the node we're on, we're currently on, and then it gives a left and right. So if we have no root on the tree, so if we have a, like no node starting from the tree, what we're gonna do is we get the we check if there is a root. If there's no root, then we make a root with the first node. 
And so once it reads like like this list, it's going to be like, okay, does this tree have a root? Let's say this is a, our binary tree, right? So then does it have a root? No, it doesn't have a root. So let's go to the first value and give it a root of one. So then that's what this is node.new is. Um, we're just setting its root. And then when it goes to the left, it's going to be like, okay, let's set the left to um, the left node, which is i times two so what i do here is i make a check if there's like a valid if like the number in here right is three so i check if if we can actually get a a valid number from this numbers list if we can't then it's going to default to the left so like if there wasn't a three here then when we do when we get to this position right so when we get like over here, right, we're going to check one times two plus one. So we're going to check if there's a position of three. And if there is no um, third position, then we would just return the nil value. So then over here is like I'm setting the left and right value. Okay, so what if we have like this starter, this starter tree, right? Because we're going to have a starter tree. What's going to happen is that we're going to go to the next number, which is the second position in our list. And I don't know if this is the correct way to do it, but I call a breadth for search algorithm on this whole, this whole tree. So I start from here and then I check, do we have a number two? What happens is that how breadth for search work is when we pass in self.root, we're going to pass in our root value so we're always going to pass in one because that's where we're starting from and then we're checking this this list right here so this is our root and then we're checking this value we're like going to check its left child and then right child so it's going to put it on a stack that means when we do table insert and put the root on our stack that means we're going to have a table right have a table of stack like this is going to be our stack of numbers right we get one over here and then we'd be like let's insert one into this table over here this is going to be our stack of numbers then it's going to be like okay let's take this guy stack out and process this number so what is one's left and right value okay so if the current node we're at, which is number one, isn't our target, which is our target is two, we're trying to find two, right? So if we don't find two, then we're going to keep putting numbers on top of this stack. So we need to process our first node. So our first node has a left and right value, which is this. So if current node has a left value, if current node has a right value, then you add it onto the stack. So we're going to say, oh, it has a value of two and three. So we're going to put two and three's nodes onto this stack. And then we're going to be like, okay, we have a stack of three and two now because I do it. Um, it puts in the left value and then the right value. So we're going to process three first. And then actually, sorry, we, we actually don't use a stack. We actually use a queue if we're popping from the first value because we're going to process number two's values first, right? We're going to process what does two have. It has, let's say we have something like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to get two's value first. That's why we look in the in the first position, right? We're going to get two's value first. We're going to say, okay, we're processing number two, and it's going to be four and five. And then on our next iteration of our stack, it's going to look like three, four, and five. And then we will process three's values first. But since we reached our target value, we can just return number two. So if we get to number two, we're going to be like, okay, we found the node of number two. So our target value is equal to number two's value. So then we're going to return number two, and then we're going to set number two's left node to its new left and the, the right node to its right node, which are left and right node for number two. Let's say we were over here, our root number, if this turns into two, the left and right will have four and five four and five hopefully that makes sense to you guys and then yeah that's basically the 
the tree class that I have. And then it's going to do that for every every single number. I don't know if that's the correct way, but it's it's the way that how you would implement something. What's kind of worrying about it is for each node, right? We're going to run a breath first search call on, on this whole list. So what's going to happen is we're going to go here. We're going to, let's say we're inserting six, right? How do we know where six is going to be? Well, we look for like, we would get three's value. And then we're going to be like, okay, we know three has a left child and a right child of six or whatever. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, If we run our code, it's going to work fine. So like root dot left dot right dot right. It's actually going to be like, okay, six is a root dot left is two right right is five so we're gonna see this print out five if i run this code so we're gonna see over here it's five and in our um two string function i do something interesting is i'm gonna run bfs on our on our root node so when i do bfs self dot root it's going to print out something that like represents a tree so it's going to print out six two eight zero four seven nine three and five using the breadth for search approach so it's going to do six two eight zero four seven nine three five six two eight zero four seven nine three five hopefully that shows you guys that i actually made a tree i didn't know how to make it correctly but i think this is one approach on how you would make a tree so hopefully you guys enjoyed because honestly i've seen trees that's called a, a binary search tree which is like bf bst so if there's like we have a six we're going to make six all its left values is going to be less than six. So it's going to be less than six. So left is always less than six. And then right is going to be greater than six. So I saw these um trees and stuff. It's easier to implement, but I was worried about uh, what happens if we have a tree that goes like this, one, three, and two, right? Because this is also a tree that we could have in other solutions and then we could just make like random numbers right so i just wanted to like well i kind of made that in a reverse bst but i just wanted to have like a list that we can like make a tree out of because over here it uses nil and nil right so yeah hopefully you guys you guys enjoyed that episode and take care everyone hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye